Hello everybody, good evening. I am Dr. Mukesh Parikh and uh, today I am present with a very important uh, literary form that is ballad and uh, I would be just talking about ballad, its forms, its uh, rhyme scheme and most important ballads but before that I would like to uh, ask you to kindly subscribe to my channel and uh, press the bell icon, like all the videos see them watch them carefully you will find that i have uh, uh, you know prepared all these videos uh, for the better understanding of the students of literature and um, you may share them also with your fraternity with your friends uh, i have been running an institute its name is uh, english cosmos so we have two websites of this institute one is mukeshparik.com you can hit that website and uh, you you can go there and you you will find that we have a uh, we have a, a, a blog there and on this blog i have uh, always shared a lot of study material for the students serious students who are preparing for net and jrf now uh, let me start this video uh, it is about ballad a ballad is a form of verse of an, a narrative set to music. Ballads derive from the medieval French chanson, ballady or ballad. So this, they have already asked this question in 2005 or 6, that uh, what is the origin of ballad, which were originally dance songs. So you should remember, first of all, that ballad has something to do with the dance, dance form. And its origin is uh, from the, the French word. They were widely used across Europe and later in Australia, North Africa, North America and South America. Ballads are often 13 lines with, an, uh, with a form. I read that form. The rhyme scheme is A, B, A, B, B, C, B, C. Four line stanza uh, consisting of couplets of rhymes, A, B, A, B, of rhymed words, each of 14 syllables. Another common form is A, B, A, B or A, B, C, B repeated in alternating eight or six syllable lines. The ballad derives its name from the medieval Scottish dance songs or balleries. They have also asked this question, you know, in exam, balleries. And uh, in um, form, uh, these balleries uh, are similar to ballet, ballet we call them is also derived as did the alternative rival form that become uh, became the French ballad. Ballads were originally written to accompany dance as I earlier said and so were composed in couplets because uh, you know that uh, when we, we uh, have a dance movement then we can dance in uh, say on one line in another way and another line we can change the, the steps and all. So that's why I think the rhythm present in a ballad is uh, uh, accompanying dance form and uh, there are refrains which are repeated you know and ballad senza or quatrain as i earlier said that they are written mostly in the quatrains like two lines uh, two couplets uh, combining together makes a uh, make a quatrain uh, of alternative lines of iambic uh, penta iambic sometimes iambic tetrameter mostly iambic tetrameter and iambic trimeter sometimes known as ballad meter so you should also prepare this as a question that ballad meter is mostly iambic tetrameter and sometimes iambic trimeter also in english literature uh, samuel peeps was the first person who started collecting uh, english ballads but uh, i'm talking about the collection but before that you know during renaissance in the starting part of renaissance uh, there were different ballads were famous before the sonnet came into england Ballads were the only form because it is it belongs to oral tradition. Okay, but uh, for the sake of exam and uh, you are aware about lyrical ballads, I think you know lyrical ballads are not exactly the ballads in the true sense of the words because uh, uh, they are they uh, call Wordsworth and College they uh, have taken study uh, they have taken their uh, subject matter from common life. That's why they termed it ballads. But as such, they are not uh, ballads in the true sense. You cannot uh, dance on them. But uh, in Romantic age, Thomas Percy is a very famous name whose relics of ancient English poetry, you know, that book is very famous. He was a teenager when he collected these sonnets and 
whenever you go into the depth of romantic literature you will always come across his name thomas percy another one is oscar wilde's the ballad of reading jail the ballad of reading g j g a o l the spelling of the jail is different here it was published in 1896 uh, 97 so this is a very small video on the information of ballad like what is a ballad so i repeat that it is a verse form it is narrative and set to music and uh, it has french origin it has something to do with ballet its meter is ab ab and sometimes uh, ab bc and it its uh, meter is uh, iambic tetrameter or iambic uh, trimeter and the most famous important thing is that uh, before uh, written english came it was already there in the oral tradition of england and thomas percy's relics of ancient english poetry is the most famous book uh, oscar wilde's uh, the ballad of reading jail when he was uh, uh, incarcerated for homosexuality as you all aware are aware there he wrote this ballad these ballads the ballad of reading jail and uh, uh, one there are other, other ballads famous but uh, i'm restricting myself to this only thank you very much